Okay, hi. Uh, I'm Chen Yuwei. So I'm going to talk about more adaptive algorithms for adversarial bandits. And this is a joint work with my advisor, Haiping Luo. So uh, this paper mainly deal with multi arm bandit problem, and this is already well explained in the previous presentation. So I'll just uh, very briefly go over it. And in each round, the player will pick an arm, IT, and then the adversary will reveal the loss of the picked arm, but not the others. And the player will suffer the, lo suffer the loss of the picked arm. And the goal is to minimize the regret. Uh, so the regret is defined as the the difference between the cumulative loss of the learner and the cum accumulated loss of the best arm. And uh, uh, so th the minimax regret of this uh, Martin Bandy problem is already well understood. But uh, so the target of, of this work is uh, to have an algorithm that always have the minimax regret guarantee. But uh, when the losses are uh, exhibit some kind of easiness, our regret bound can be much better. And somehow this kind of uh, adaptive bounds is uh, more studied in the full information setting. Uh, it is less understood in the multi arm in the bandit setting. So our first result is called the best of both worlds. So the easiness is captured by the IID assumption. So we have an algorithm, a single algorithm, that uh, uh, when losses are IID generated, it has some regret bound that is logarithmic in T. And more precisely, it's order of k log t over delta, where delta is uh, sorry, where delta is the gap between the means of the best arm and the second best arm. And when the losses are adversarial, we have a regret bound that is roughly square root k l star, where l star is the accumulated loss of the best arm. So uh, this k l star is smaller than the square root k t. Uh, so we, we are not the first to investigate this problem, and there were already several works about this to have a best of both worlds bound. But we have several uh, benefits over over the previous works. So as I mentioned, we have a uh, in the adversarial setting where our bound is uh, uh, better than the minimax bound square root kt. And in a stochastic setting, the logarithmic bound actually doesn't need to, uh, to uh, it holds under a weaker assumption than IID assumption. So we only need that uh, there's an arm I star uh, whose conditional, uh, conditional expectation, uh, the loss uh, is smaller than all the others by the, a gap. So the loss can be neither independent nor identical. And uh, perhaps the most important contribution of this work in this direction is that we have a much simpler algorithm and analy analysis for this problem. There's no extra statistical tests uh, as appeared in some of the previous works. Uh, okay, so uh, the second kind of results in this paper is to have a, a adaptive bounds. So these bounds are... Uh, this bounds uh, is much smaller than square root kt when the loss is, uh, is slowly changing in some sense. So how to capture this kind of slowly changing? Uh, so f first way is to calculate uh, the loss empirical variance. So we define qt like this. So q, q I, a qi is the empirical, empirical variance of arm i. And there are several previous works that have a regret that depends on this quantity. And uh, in, like in full information, they have bounds that either depends on the maximum empirical variance over all arms or the empirical variance of the best arm. And in Bandit's uh, recent work by Bubek et al. have a regret that depends on the sum of the empirical variance. And this work uh, completes this table. So we have a regret bound that only depends on the empirical variance of the best arm. So if you compare these two bounds, our bounds and the, the previous bounds, uh, our bounds is at most square root k times the other, but their bound can be much larger than ours. And the second way to characterize the slowly changing property is by the path length. So the path length is defined like this. 
So it's a sum of squares of the difference of, uh, of the losses. Uh, uh, again, there are, uh, it's well understood in the full information setting. So the, 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 lo uh, the regret can either depend on the maximum path length over all arms or the, uh, the path length of the best arm. But there's, there were no known result about path length bound for bandits. Uh, so, uh, but because of some technical difficulties, we only have a first order, uh, first order path length, uh, which means there's no square in the definition of the path length. But we can still get some uh, regret bounds. Okay, so either it's a sum over path length of the, all the arms, or it depends on the path length of the best arm. And uh, actually, there are several works. Uh, recent works that 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 is saying that if uh, in a multiplayer games, if all users are using a, a an algorithm that has a path length boundary guarantee, then their their convergence rate to the equilibrium can be faster. So our our uh, our this application is uh, in a similar sense to these previous works, but our our algorithm can work in a bandit setting. Okay, so now I'll, brief, I'll briefly go through our algorithm. And so we, we have several bounds, but actually they're from a, from a un unified framework. And we call this framework the very regularized uh, broad OMD. And broad stands for very regularized with optimism and adaptivity. And actually most of the techniques are already developed for full information setting. And uh, we in in this paper we're just uh, combining them uh, in a novel way, no novel way. So it's a it's a variant uh, of online mirror descent. Uh, so this is the the vanilla online mirror descent. The update rule is like this: PT is the sam sampling distribution for the uh, at time t plus one. So it's uh, it's solving a, a, pro a optimization. Then what is uh, optimistic online mirror descent? So the, the, the first line remains the same, but when the learners are pick the, is picking the arms, it, it makes further updates based on this uh, MT plus one. And MT plus one is an uh, optimistic prediction for LT plus one. And we have a, another element, which is this AT. And this is developed in a, a so this is very similar to the previous work, Steinhardt and Liang's paper. Uh, but uh, so you can think of this as a second order term, okay? And then uh, and our algorithm is very similar to theirs, but uh, we uh, we their their algorithm is presented in a follow the regularized leader framework with a fixed regularizer, and our. Uh, uh, we presented this in an online mirror descent framework with an adaptive regularizer. And in some of, the, some of our results, the adaptivity of the regularizer is essential. And uh, it, perhaps the most important element in this algorithm is the regularizer we choose. Uh, we choose the log barrier, uh, which is defined like this, uh, to be the regularizer. So in a multi arm bandit problem, uh, more typical choose ch choice of regularizer is the negative entropy regularizer, which results in the EXP3 algorithm. But uh, if you play with all the techniques here, you, you, you can find that um, these techniques uh, just don't, don't uh, work along with the negative entropy regularizer. But all of them work with this log barrier regularizer. So, uh, so I, I'll just briefly uh, talk about how to how to pick AT and MT uh, to to achieve the previous mentioned bounds, uh, but uh, so it, because of a time limitation, I will just briefly. So if you want to know more, you can come to our poster. So uh, if you uh, set AT to be zero, so it's just a the online a optimistic online mirror descent, then you can achieve bounds. Uh, the path length bound that depends on the sum of the path lengths and the both best of both worlds bound. 
And then if you set I, uh, A to be this quantity, you can have some regret bound that adapt to the, some quantity of the based on. Okay. And finally, I'll conclude with some other elements. So to get some of the results, increasing learning rate are in required, and, and some results, decreasing learning rate are required. And most of our results can be generated to s combinatorial bandits with semi-bandit feedback. And we present some open problems. Uh, so some of them are parameter-free algorithm to achieve these two bounds, so we, we actually don't know how to tune this. And the second, whether second order pattern bound are possible in bandit and extension to some other uh, bandit uh, settings. Thank you. Question. Uh, lower bounds. So um, we 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 didn't we didn't provide lower bounds, but yeah. The So th uh, I think th th uh, uh, my guess is that this is tight. Uh, so, but uh, it's still it's. Th I think that maybe it depends on whether you know this quantity or not. Yeah, it's not known. That, uh, so we we can achieve this bound only if we tune the learning rate very. Mm, yeah. So yeah. Okay. Let's thank the speaker again.